What up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and install this Radiant Weapon Systems Talon Switch. It's the 45 degree throw or the 90 degree throw. You get to choose. So first we're going to take out our old mil spec uh, safety selector. So open up the pistol grip, remove the screw from underneath of it, and we're just going to take this pistol grip off. Okay, so uh, let's pull this guy off. All right, and this is the old spring that was in the pistol grip. Let's go ahead and remove that because we're going to be using the spring that they give us. And from here, um, we can pull out the safety selector. It'll probably be stuck, so the trick is push down this hammer. Once the hammer is pushed down, the lever will pull right out. All right, as you can see, the little missile part fell out. I don't know what this is called. Let's call it the missile. This part was right in this hole. And that pushes down and engage, engages the selector switch. When you put that spring on it, the spring tension pushes that down. And it engages the little channels in the safety selector switch. But we're just going to take this out because they give us their own missile we're going to use. Now that's completely out. Now let's take a look at the parts we have for the Radiant system. So for theirs, we have their own spring they give us. Then we have these little guys here. We have their own missile, their tool. We have their, their levers. So we got the short lever, the long lever, and then we have their drum. So from here, we can go ahead and piece together this. So just take a look at this here. See, this is the 90 degree throw. A little channel there, or detent, whatever you want to call it. This is the 45 degree throw. It's much shorter. So I'm going to be using the 45 degree throw. So I'm gonna, let's take a look at the smooth side of the drum. Okay. So the smooth side is going to be where my right thumb is at. So I'm going to go ahead and put the long lever on this side. So remember these two little guys? So we got the spring and this metal piece. So this metal piece has two sides to it. This side is rounded. And this side is pretty much smooth. So this rounded ball side, almost looks like a little ball at the end, that clips into this little spring. It just clips like that, and it just kind of retains it like that. That's how you want to do it, and then you want to shove it inside the drum hole. It just falls right in. Now from here, oh yeah, so you see this part here. So there's the, there's the throw channel. That should be facing down. So there's a 45 one, the shorter one. That should be facing down. When you install it, that faces down. Now from here, let's take the long lever and we're gonna slide this guy on. You could use your nail to get it started. Once it's over that edge, you could use the tool they give you to secure it on the rest of the way. So this tool just pushes down this retention spring and pin and then once that pushes down you can slide on the lever all the way flush until it clicks in that hole just like that that part is done now from here we go ahead and drop this in just like that and we can flip this guy around. And remember that little missile piece they gave us? We're going to put that in this hole. So this in this hole. And that will engage that little 45 degree channel that we saw earlier. OK, 
Okay. Now, we're going to take their spring that they give us, set this guy down, and we're going to grab the pistol grip and insert their spring into this hole. Now from here, we can easily, carefully guide this pistol grip with the spring onto the lower receiver. And what you want to do is you want to line up this spring so that it is into the hole. See that little hole right there? Yep, we're going to make sure the spring is lined up and go ahead and push it and secure it all the way down. Now that spring tension is engaging that missile piece, which is engaging that missile piece into those little channels for the safety selector for the 45 degree throw. Go ahead and give it a couple little testy runs. Okay, seems to be working. Good. All right, seems to be smooth, working fine. Now from here, we can go ahead and put on the ambidextrous side. So I'm gonna use these little guys again. So remember, grab the spring and this little metal piece has two sides. Find the side that has like a little ball to it. And that will click in and retain that spring just like that, holds in place. Throw that in the drum hole. All right, take your short lever or whatever lever you pick for the ambidextrous side. Use your nail, push it down. Okay, get it started. Now use their tool for the rest of the way. Push that down just like that and push it in until you hear a click. Perfect, that is in. Looking good. Now from here, you could go ahead and secure your pistol grip back to the lower receiver. So we're just going to tighten this down real quick. Once the pistol grip is tight, go ahead and close this guy back in and give it a function test. Let's go ahead and click it. All right, the hammer falls, good. All right, push the hammer back. Let's toggle it. Nice, positive clicks. 45 degree throw, let's check the ambidextrous side. And nice, positive clicks as well. So yeah, I hope this video helped you out today on how to install the Radiant Weapon Systems Talon Safety Selector. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.